This stream is being recorded in an undisclosed location, as we have in our possession the uh, convicted <laughs> insider trader Sonic T Hedgehog, and we're going to play his uh, video games. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's time for my nonsense again. So, um, next week, uh, I'm going to be playing Sonic uh, CD on the Mega Drive Mini 2. The thing is, uh, I think it's important to play the other Sonic games first. I, th I think that's important because you kind of can't understand Sonic CD without knowing sort of what came before it. Um, sorry, hang on. I'm kind of I'm kind of flying without a license because I misplaced my glasses five minutes before the stream. <laughs> we'll be fine. We'll be fine, probably. <laughs> so, uh, oh, oh, god, oh, Amy's gonna find me great. So, um, anyway, so we have like four different versions of Sonic Two we could play on the Switch. Only three Sonic versions of Sonic Three, just Sonic One. So we're going to play the Sega Ages versions by M2. They're very good. Uh, they're, they're, they're not the Christian Whitehead versions. They're not the mobile versions. These are the Mega Drive games. You know, rather than, you know, they don't have anything fancy. They don't have anything too fancy. There's no widescreen. There's no, there, there's, there is a drop dash. Although it's a little wonky, as we'll find out. But I think before we do that, we kind of need to... I think it's important to know where I come from in terms of Sonic. So, um, here's the thing. Uh, in the 90s, uh, my family got an Asian region Mega Drive that ran at 50 hertz, but it meant you could play import games. And we played the Sonics including an Asian copy of uh, Sonic 2. Um, skip ahead a little. Uh, I skipped the Saturn entirely until around uh, the 2000s when it's well out out of fashion. And I, start, I, I get Sonic Jam and I start discovering all these Sonic games I hadn't heard about. So, so I get interested in particular. Uh, I, I, I feel I want to play Sonic CD, Knuckles Chaotix. And, and uh, Sonic the Fighters, especially. Which involved playing, uh, <laughs> playing an incredibly janky-ass Model 2 emulator on a computer absolutely not prepared to handle it. Which meant that I got, I got like, monochrome Sonic the Fighters running at two frames per second. And I was like, oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> um, and then... I sort of stuck around with Sonic for the uh, the GameCube era, so to speak, because uh, I got a Dreamcast when that was on its way out, so I played through Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, in particular, let me see if I've got this right. Uh, no, that's not the right link. I'm going to have to see if I can find my glasses in the break. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> in Okay, here we go. In particular, I was a lurker on a little fan site called the Green Hill Zone. If uh, <laughs> if anyone was was a member there, I I, I might recognise your name. I never posted. Obviously, I'm I'm a professional lurker. I've been doing it for for decades now. But that that was where I used to hang out. Uh, no, not through Sonic Adventure DX, but when I got a GameCube. I played the shit out of Sonic Adventure 2 uh, Battle and Sonic Adventure DX. I unlocked all the uh, all the game, game Gear games. And, you know, I, I really enjoyed Sonic Mega Collection because it was a way of playing some games I hadn't played before. And then I remember when I stopped. I remember the precise moment where I was like, you know what, I'm good. Uh, after uh, I played the uh, Sonic Advance games as well. Uh, the trailer for Sonic Heroes. I saw that. I was mildly befuddled by the reappearance of the Chaotix. And then I was like... You, you know what? No, I'm good. 
I think this is a good cutting off point. Uh, which means I was not there. <laughs> and it's not like I instantly started to dislike Sonic. It was just like, yeah, you know what? I'll stick with what I know. Um, so I, I, I missed playing Shadow the Hedgehog and Sonic 06 at the time. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much where we are. Um, I, I'm not massively interested in the new Sonic games, but... People are enjoying Sonic Frontiers, and you know what? Good for them. I'm glad people are enjoying it. I'm very happy. Um, and uh, what was the other thing? Oh, I, I did eventually go back around to play Sonic 06, and th there is a gulf between uh, me and people who enjoy Sonic 06. I can never understand you. I'm sorry. I, res I, I see you, I respect you, but we will never understand each other, and that's okay. That's fine. But that brings us to uh, what we're actually here to do. Uh, I, I guess we'd, get a we'd better play some Sonic games. I guess that's what we're going to do. Um, okay, hold on. I've got a shit ton of links to post. Some of these will probably be better done after we've, uh, yeah, after after we play, we'll, we'll, we'll post those. Uh, but for now, let's get started. Um, yeah, there's a, I think I found my permanent switch profile icon. I, I don't think I ever need another one. At one point, I played Sonic 06 on an arcade stick. I just want to point that out. Oh, we got Mary from Quartet. Yes. There's Alex Kidd. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on. There we go. We should have game sound. I have spoken with my Elgato since the incident last time. <laughs> um, I think it's playing ball. I, I, I gave it a watch. I gave it a listen. It seems like it's okay. I'll just I'll just turn that down just to just a smidge. Uh, first off, uh, all of the Sega Ages menus have the uh, the Mega CD BIOS music, which is great. <laughs> That's really cool. And yeah, this is so. This is by M2. This is their Sega Ages series on Switch, which sadly did not go on for as long as many would have wanted. In terms of emulated re-releases, these are pretty much the best you're gonna get. These aren't remakes, these aren't... Uh, these don't mess about too much, but they add a couple... Uh, they add extra features that are welcome. Yeah, it's very nice, it's very chilled out. Which is funny because the, the, the act of owning a Mega CD is kind of stressful given that, you know, it's, it's likely to die at any moment. <laughs> now, uh, let, let's just be clear. Um, this is probably not going to be an all Chaos Emeralds run. We, we'll do our best. We'll do our absolute best, but uh, making no promises. Uh, so we'll, we'll just do a normal run and then we'll... Um, could you hear the Sega? That's really important. And then we'll show off some of the extra features of this version. There he is, that wily hedgehog. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of, I kind of felt a little daunted by doing this stream because, God, there's so much to Sonic. There's so much we could talk about. Actually, you know what? Let's take the upper route. No one, nobody ever sees that. Why not? We're free to do as we please. And to be honest, I kind of want as many lives as possible. Because <laughs> I would like to do this on one credit. We'll, we'll, we'll see. 
Nice. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh the, he's 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 a cocky little fellow, isn't he? He thinks he's gonna be the next big superhero. Maybe he is. We of course have the Camel Chai inspired special stages. Oh no. Oh wait, wait, no, we're in there. Okay. So I've gotten better at these. I used to be fucking terrible at them. But um this is still not a guarantee. Also, I kind of want to... Oh, nope. Where's that jingle? No, don't want to risk it. There it is! Okay. So, the, the special stage is how you get continues. So, the, there is kind of an arcade... You know, this was 91, the arcade was still often seen as where the real games were, in a sense. U unless, you're, unless you're one of those PC types. Maybe you are, who knows. Uh, but, yeah, there's a limited number of lives and continues. You d I don't think you start with any continues, actually. You have to earn those. Yes! Of course, the thing is, Sonic is mostly about physics. He, he is like, he is akin to a giant pinball. Uh, slopes and uh, ramps affect his jumping momentum. And especially in this first game, he has a speed cap, so he's not super fast on his own. Once he rolls into a ball though, the speed cap is removed and you can go as fast as you want. If you, if you can navigate the stage to make it that way. Yes, this is, uh, with, you have the choice of the international or the Japanese version, which equates to uh, revision zero or revision one. Oh boy. Oh, which way, which way do we go? Oh no, I don't like this. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that was the exit. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, revision 1 adds, uh, extends every 50,000 points. Which are not in the, uh, the original international version. Ooh. Now, as I said, there's the, uh, there, there is a, a f fuck. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, hi, hi, Tremmy. We're, cl we're playing this game about a hedgehog. Anyway, there's a there's a secret one up. Uh, no, invincibility. My mistake. I was saying something. Yeah, um, revision one adds the, the, the famous parallax to... Ah, oh, sick. Feels good. <laughs> so it's the famous parallax to Green Hill, adds some wavy effects in Labyrinth, and adds uh, 50,000 point extends. Uh, none of... Neither of them fix the famous spike bug. That is, uh, that is present and correct in this version. If you want that fixed, you gotta go to a uh, Sonic Mega Collection. Or, you know, Sonic Origins. You could do that. That is an option available to you. Anyway, here's one reason I wanted to play the original version. 
in most modern in the like the mobile phone version and Sonic Origins, you can't hit Eggman before he starts attacking. And no, that's that's like half my strategy. <laughs> Oh. Oh dear, what's happening to the stream? W was d did anyone else see that? Was that just my end? Okay, it looks like it settled itself. I'll keep keep my eye on this thing like a hawk. Ah, fuck. Okay. Right, I'll keep an eye on it. If it gets really bad, then uh, I'll have to have another chat with my Elgato. Exp explain to it the concept of the rubbish bin. Where it will go if it doesn't behave. Yeah, the spike bug is... It almost feels like it was intentional, just to stop you from scumming your way past spike pits. And yeah, you're right, the lava pits don't act that way either. Anyway, this is the infamous Marvel Zone. A lot of people have many strong words to say about this place. I don't think it's as bad as Labyrinth Zone. Which, as I was reading up, apparently Labyrinth Zone was planned to be the second zone. Oh god, why would you do that? No. Let's have a look up. Uh, Labyrinth Zone was moved because it was considered too big a, uh, a spike in difficulty, which, yeah, that, that seems about right. Oh, we didn't do very well for rings at all. That, that Chaos Emerald dream is getting further and further away. Ooh. Oh man, I'm only... I don't... I, fuck it, we're going back. I don't even any other... Okay, you know what? I deserve that. That, that seems fair. That, that one's on me. I forgot, uh, the X button is used to pause in this port. <laughs> the dream is dead, it's fine. We were never gonna get all the Chaos Emeralds. Uh, Robotnik, uh, ahem. Eggman will just have to laugh at us. Also, I've just realized I've got like seven lives already. I think, I think we're <laughs> completing the game, not an issue. Chaos Emeralds. M much, much more, much more dire straits. Ooh, ooh. Yes! See, you can get through this zone quickly, kind of, maybe. Ooh. Now, you'll notice that there's a, a ring chain counter at the bottom. That's a, that's a new feature. That's a new feature in this port. It keeps track of how many rings you've caught, you've grabbed consecutively. And when you and you know you can you can have a max chain. It doesn't do anything, but it's cute. This version also has a ring keep mode that starts you off with 10 rings and makes you only lose half of them when you uh, when you get hit. In case you're struggling with the game, so you know that's that's nice. Whoa. Yes, feels good. Of course, a lot of this game is just learning where you can get away with running at top speed. It's because it's not always a guarantee. Sometimes Sonic will crash headlong into danger. But knowing where you can get away with things is key. Plus, it's fun. Ooh, ooh. 
Oh, I think there's a shield in here? No, nope, that'll do. Okay, I'm gonna try and keep an eye on the stream. I really hope it's not bugging out, because that means that my Elgato is dying and I kinda have to replace it. That's, that's kinda not great. Anyway, we're invincible now. That works for me! I see. Okay. Mm. At least it's not my internet. At least it's something within my power to fix. Oh, of course it's... No, 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 no! <laughs> No, that, that seems about right. <laughs> oh, if you think I'm bad at these special stages, wait until we get to Sonic 2. <laughs> Whoa, yes. So, uh, what I just demonstrated there, completely by accident, is a unique quirk to uh, Sonic 1 and 2 called Roll Lock. Uh, when you roll into a ball, your jumping direction is locked completely. So it, 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 you basically have to rely on your momentum. Uh, that becomes an issue when we get to the drop dash, which we'll be seeing a little later. But it's something to keep in mind. Anyway, this ah, that's my favourite glitch where... Uh, if you're pushing something and you jump, you sort of uh, get get out of the jump, uh, the the spin, and just, just just walk completely in the air. So there should be a a big old. There we go. Oh no. See, there, there it is again. Oh. Ah. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. So yeah, like I said, this is this is just the original Mega Drive version. There's no there's no fixes to slow down or anything, no bug fixes as far as I can tell. And I remember a lot of people being disappointed with the 3DS version of this in particular because it wasn't the iPhone version. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good glitch. But I, I, I think there's value in having both versions available, which is why I was a little annoyed of Sonic Origins not having... The, the classic mode is just like... Um... How do I explain it? It's just the, the mobile versions, but with a 4x3 crop. And the drop dash removed, but not things like the spin dash removed for Sonic 1, or uh, Tails Flight removed for Sonic 2. He couldn't fly in Sonic 2. Poor guy. Well, we're nearly out of here. We have the worst set of jumps coming up, though. Uh, uh, can we hit? Can we hit? Yes. That's not the worst set of jumps. The worst set is coming up. This set. Oh no, I don't like it. Because <laughs> uh, if you fall, you get sent straight back into the lava and I can't tell you how many times I've run into this set of spikes <laughs> trying to do that. It's like, oh, I'm home free. Oh, oh no. <laughs> this is this is a pretty simple boss. That's kind of the big thing about Sonic. These bosses aren't great. They're all right, like, but.
yeah, the 3D effect is really nice. Uh, I can't see it very well because of my eyes, but I, I, I can sort of see it if I move my eyes around a bit. Sorry, I, <laughs> I don't have my glasses on, so I've got to catch up with chat like this. Uh, Sonic Origins is... I, I, I got it for half price, so... <laughs> That that's the that's the that's the headline there. So there's a there's a ah yeah that's right there's a whoop. nope <laughs> jumped too early. I learned about this trick recently. I believe you can use this. No ah no it's in the next section isn't it? <laughs> That's right. Use the speed shoes while here, and you can just sail over the top. <laughs> that skips the whole um, the whole uh, boxes sequence, which people hate. This is this is our required pinball section of the game, kind of. But there's no flickers. There, there is a lot of a lot of bumpers though. Ooh, that was close. I love these. I love these half pipes. Because <laughs> uh, cause there's no speed cap when you're rolling. You can get some uh, wicked mad speed, as the kids of the 90s would say. Cool, thanks. I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. Why would I be mad? Why would I be perturbed in any way? Ooh. Yeah, n nobody liked De Nuvo on on thirty year old games. That that's that's kind of a not 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 a great idea. It must be said. This is this is the part of the game where my confidence starts to wane. I'm pretty familiar with these stages, but maybe not as familiar as I should be. I'm sure it'll be fine though. This is, it's very easy to get squashed here by mistake. You don't want to be over eager fitting through these gaps. Oh! <laughs> Whoops! I was meant to go up. <laughs> uh, I've fallen for the classic blunder. This way. Yep, yeah, everyone's favourite. I, I feel that playing Sonic One in particular before Sonic CD is kind of important because a lot of a lot of the uh, zone motifs are taken pretty much almost directly from Sonic One. Anyway, we're, we're trapped in pinball hell. <laughs> Good. Oh. That can sometimes happen, that's great. I like that. Ooh. Are you enjoying the bing sound? Okay, one other thing that kind of drove me nuts about Sonic Origins is every time you pass a checkpoint, the game auto saves, which is nice. But also, there has to be a tiny auto uh, save icon up here in the corner, and you can you, you can't not see it. And it's just no, no, it's it's fine. You don't need to tell me. 
Okay. That was that was that was more luck than judgment, but we'll take it. Whoop. And we should be at the end now. Yes. Can, can we get the fourth Chaos Emerald when we failed miserably getting the first, the, the, the second and third? Let's see. Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, which, which is it? Oh, no, no! <laughs> now, here's, here's kind of another thing reason I wanted to play the original. This is... No! I paused. Ah, <laughs> oh, recover... No! 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 <laughs> no, it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's, it's fine. I wanted to do that. <laughs> I wanted to grab all the rings that I missed. That's that's it. So, what I was going to say was, I prefer the janky scrolling to the smooth rotation of the mobile ports. Because I'm an idiot. Ugh. Yes. At the very least, the, uh... The special stages in Sonic 1 and CD are comp compartmentalized. No, you don't. Don't you dare. You know, they are always at the end of an act. They don't interrupt the flow of gameplay. They interrupt the flow between gameplay, but not the actual flow, which I think is an important distinction. Come on. There we go. Yes, uh, that is correct, more, more kitten. Uh, uh, I don't think those interviews are like on Sega's site anymore, but people did preserve them. And I think, I think there's value in having both available. Because, uh, you know, as, as nice as all the additions to the new versions are, I think you know, there's that there is value in having the original properly emulated. You know, the original. I, I don't like to see the original games replaced necessarily. If that makes sense, I like the original to be also available. And hey, maybe some people like all the slowdown in Sonic CD. <laughs> And of course, especially when you have a, a Sonic Origin style situation where, in some aspects, the remade versions have issues that the originals didn't have. You know, it's, it's valuable to have good emulated versions of the fuck <laughs> of the originals available. Oh no, I nearly had it. There is a secret in that wall. Yes! Uh, where... Where is the platform? There it is. I always like the, the backdrop on this stage. Like a mysterious city in the background. Where is it? Who lives there? Is it Starlight Zone? We may never know. Also, uh, Spring Yard uh, brings into focus the idea that the game takes place across an entire day. Sonic starts in the morning in Green Hill Zone and Marvel, Marvel Zone. The sun is beginning to set by the time we get here. 
Lavin Zone is all inside, so we don't know what time of day it is. But Starlight Zone is very clearly at night. It's a cute little detail. Also, uh, oh, whoa. <laughs> I forgot to point out the best sign in the game, Cope. I always think about that. Are we there yet? Okay, good. So the, the secret to this fight is, if you look very carefully, he's actually, uh, the mobile bobs up and down, and when it's at its lowest point, you can actually hit it. Of course, it's best that you don't, you know, get hit and fall into a hole like that, but you get the idea. There goes the, there goes the no death run, I guess. Ah, oh, it's kind of mean that they give you the invincibility here when this <laughs> there's, there's nothing doing. It'll run out before you get to the boss. So yeah, if you look very carefully, he's kind of he's kind of bobbing and weaving, and at his lowest point, you can just clip him. That's the secret to beating this boss. Okay, excellent. Oh! <laughs> I didn't notice, but yeah, my max ring chain is Nico Nii. <laughs> I, I, I hope I never beat it. That is true, you could be brave, but I am a coward. Anyway, here we go. We all know this place, right? It's, it's everyone's favourite. Everyone loves a Labyrinth Zone. Yeah, you're kind of jumping blind to get there, aren't you? It's uh, scary. Sonic's pretty brave, though, I think. So, do you want to know my least favourite part of this zone? It's these platforms. I don't even care about the water. It's those platforms that I hate. Once you step on them, they automatically rise up, and if you're not uh, careful, they'll send you into spikes or crush you. Cool. Everything else here, uh, yeah, it's, it's... Poor Sonic, he's, he's never been good with water. No, the, the, the switch. I, I want the... Thank you. So yeah, the, the wavy thing uh, pattern you see in the back and in the foreground, that's exclusive to the Revision 1 uh, version of the game. Come on, give me some air. Thank you. stage. Oh, we're not, we're not done. Not, not yet. Oh, 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 is he gonna fall? Is he gonna fall? No. We should be there now. There, but, ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, I got outplayed. Uh, did, yeah, no, I, I, <laughs> I respect it. That burrow got me good. I thought I thought it was at the end. Do you see? I've got to stop doing that. Uh, that's um, the the X button pauses in this torch, so it's easy to press it by mistake. Like so. 
I believe you can get the illegal instruction in Labyrinth Zone. I think that's Act 2. I'm not going to risk it, obviously. I don't... I, I, I don't want to... I'm doing well. We've completely fucked up getting the Chaos Emeralds, but nobody cares about Chaos Emeralds. We, we all agreed upon that, right? That, that was what we agreed on? Anyway, oh, no, I thought that was the bit that, uh, the, the bit that, uh, continued forever, but no, I think that's, I think that's the next one. Uh-oh. Help. Help. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can still drown. Even when you're invincible. Life is cruel. Oh. There we go. Now there's a... Yes, there it is. There is a switch cunningly hidden behind a TV. Man, they're giving me a lot of rings. That's, this seems awfully kind of them. Definitely nothing to worry about there. There we go. That's that's what I was waiting for. There was a there was a monitor up here though. What is it? I'll take that. Is the stream behaving, by the way? Uh, I've been trying to k keep an eye on it, but it's... No! Ah, oh, the, the chunky slowdown. So far, so good. That's what, that's, that's what I like to hear. Okay. Incidentally, I... Uh... Because somebody mentioned the illegal instruction, which can happen in Labyrinth Zone. I don't think it was Labyrinth Zone, but I have done that on real hardware by mistake. I think it was in, like, Starlight Zone. I was doing incredibly well, and then the game just was just like, Illegal instruction! Your run is over. That was playing the incredibly sad PAL version. <laughs> the Lab and Zone session went well. It sure did. Hi, Shark. Is this the zone with the most invincibility boxes? That makes sense. Here we go. Okay, so this section is one of... Uh... I think every... I'm trying to think. I think every Sonic game on the Mega Drive, except CD, has this. Where there's a, a section that goes that scrolls up and down forever until you do something. Poor Sonic, he's not having a good time of it. Uh, this is this game's version. Um, Sonic 2 has it in Metropolis Zone, which I've been told exists, but I don't believe it. We're going to see, see if Metropolis Zone actually exists live on stream. And uh, Sonic 3 has it in Ice... Sonic 3 has it in Ice Cap Zone. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're going at a reasonable pace, I would say. We, we, are, we are at moderately optimum Sonic speed. Well, it, it doesn't matter. It's fine. No, let me... Let me... <laughs> Sick. <laughs> That's good. I like that. That's fun. I didn't hit a checkpoint. The true Sonic the Hedgehog starts here. No. No. <laughs> oh. 
I'll, I'll get this event. No, too early. No, nope. I'll get this eventually. No. Fuck, what's the trick? Uh, ah, no, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah, we gotta do one of these. Yes! Gotta hold the, uh, hold the opposite direction. Uh, yes, by one of, by one of Robotnik's fiendish speed traps. Made famous by the Sonic 3 manual. <laughs> Oh, that's a classic. I love that. Sadly, my copy of Sonic 3 doesn't have a manual, so I never got to read that. Upset. Okay, let's try this again. Much better. Okay, so do you see that little seal guy? Um, when I was... When I was slightly smaller than I am now, I always thought that was some kind of ghost. I could never figure out the, the features on it, so it just looked like a little ghost to me. It's uh, it's actually a walrus. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Come on, come on. Not like this! There we go. And one more for good measure. No. <laughs> we're, we're nearly out to the labyrinth. We're nearly free. God. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> Naka, why? <laughs> Let me, let me out. I don't like being in here. Ugh. We, we've heard that jingle way too many times. No. Th this, this, this zone at least has some verticality to it, I guess. This will become important in the boss fight. Are you alright down there? Do, do, are you gonna... Are you just... No, you just gonna... Okay. You're just gonna stay down there. I see you. I see you. I understand. Have a nice day, sir. <laughs> He's shy. He didn't want to come out. So here's the boss fight that everyone makes fun of, because it's not really a boss fight. It's a ascent. I kind of like this one though, it's, it's at least a little different from the other boss fights. Because you're not only are you running against these obstacles, but you're also running against the water. That was the exit right there. <laughs> so, the main thing with that one is... Um, I used to go to a retro gaming event. I, I still do, but you know, certain certain things have prevented it. Uh, but uh, friends of mine would have a challenge uh, ROM hack set up, which was just a boss rush, uh, except you had no rings and no shield. And that that section is really challenging because you want to do it fast because they, they were grading people on time. But also, you know, it's it's difficult. So it's a nice challenge. I liked it anyway. I don't think it matters how much you hit him. It's just you know, bragging rights, I guess. Anyway, we're in a we're in a slightly stickier position because now we can't get hit at all. <laughs> This is ah. Uh. Golf controls. 
Oh, that rules! Oh, that's great! <laughs> How do you even do that section with, with golf controls? Ah, oh, that's sick! <laughs> I can't even imagine doing this with golf controls. That that is extremely good. The the Sonic hacking community have have come up with some excellent ideas over the years. One of my favourites is the one that adds Omochow, who uh, announces your every achievement in the game with an increasingly with with, with a jingle that gets increasingly long. And the issue is that if you let him keep announcing stuff, you'll eventually run out of time. Okay. There we go. Okay, we're out. <laughs> Hi, K Price. Oh, is it? You, you can't. You can't make d destroy him if you hit him eight times. I see. And see, we're, we we got out the labyrinth, and now it's night time. Sonic the Hedgehog takes place over the course of a single day. I like to think that's a reward for getting through Labyrinth Zone. But here's a pity life. Oop, no, come on. Yes. Maybe this is the mysterious city that we passed by in Spring, Spring Yard. No, that, that didn't really work out, did it? Because uh, the lower you go, you do start to see, like, bricks and what are ostensibly buildings. There we go. Yeah. Also, this song is great. The entire soundtrack is great, but this is this is especially great. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a classic Say How Girls track. Yes. <laughs> Oh, feels good, feels good. Yes! <laughs> um, um, a child's voice actor? What? Um, a child's uh, Japanese VA, Etsuko Kozakura, also voices Ptolemy and Hippopo in Pop and Pop. I'm unsure how to process this information. <laughs> I, you, you, you can't drop that on me. <laughs> I, I, I don't. What? No. <laughs> That's good. Thank you for sharing. Oh no, that that gamble didn't pay off. Those little bomb enemies do show up again in Sonic CD, but they're like twice as big. I like that Eggman's thought process was, what if they were bigger? Ooh. Oh! <laughs> no, that's fine. That, that seems normal. That seems optimal. We'll just clip through. It's fine. That was quick. Yeah, I like this zone as well. Ah, oh, sick, yes! Feels good. 
once you master these zones, you can feel incredibly powerful just blasting through them. What I'm saying is that the first Sonic is a good game. But nope. It's not perfect, obviously. It's strange for me because this was always the Sonic I didn't play back uh, back when I was slightly smaller than I am now. But uh, over the years, I've come to appreciate it a lot more. There's a Sonic game out there for everyone. Truly. Uh, let's see the slowdown. Yes, it feels good. <laughs> oh, this is cool. The rarely seen uh, spike swing. I also, it's it, it's just occurred to me. There's there's a very under construction feel to this zone, which is kind of perfect for for, for something like this. This is just on the outskirts of Eggman's base. And this is my favourite boss. I love this boss. This boss is great. The seesaws you've been using the entire time, you have to use as... Uh, use them either to launch the spikes into him, or use them to propel yourself. Ah. Sometimes you can even get two jumps out of them. No, nope, that was the wrong move. I wonder which way is faster though. Was, was this supposed to be before Spring Yard? Because I remember... Um, I know Labyrinth Zone was meant to be the second zone in the game. I can't remember the original order. We can check though. So here we are. It's just starting to become dawn and we have found... We have made it to Eggman's Fortress. Where a nasty surprise awaits you in the third act. <laughs> no one will no one will be permitted to enter the theatre once <laughs> once Scrap Brain enters its third act. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I was just being sloppy. Nope. I'm not too worried about this zone. I think, considering we've got like six lives and a continue, we're gonna beat this. We're not gonna get all the Chaos Emeralds, but that is fine with me. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't mind being mocked by Eggman a little. Although, do forgive me, I've been using the current canon to refer to him as Eggman. Of course, uh, we all know that originally his name was uh, Dr. Ivo Kintobor. <laughs> Turned into Iv uh, Dr. Robotnik by uh, a bad egg in his fridge. That's the true canon. That's the canon Sega doesn't want you to know about. Oh, 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 that's dodgy. I don't like that. Sick. <laughs> Fell right through it. The 
There's some cool parallax scrolling in the city back there. Oh, this game just looks great though. That's better. That's, that's more fluid. Now we just need to... No. No, not again. Duh. <laughs> There's, there's, there must be a different route we can take here, surely. No, it's not looking likely. Okay, we just have to we just have to do this properly. Duh. Ooh. Okay, no, we're fine. Normal. They're having a normal one. Are we gonna be one ring short? <laughs> no, okay, no no need to worry about that. That's fine. Ah, right into it. Yeah, I, I, I knew about, uh, I, I forgot that the, the, the Parallax was Rev 1. Makes sense, though. Is anyone getting dizzy? Nah, you're all fine. Whoop. Unfortunately, the roll lock kind of uh, screws you over there, because you can't adjust mid-air. That is the way to get speed, but it doesn't it doesn't really help. You just gotta be sensible instead. This is a good song as well. I like this one. Nope, just gonna run. I'm a little coward. <laughs> no. Okay, okay, that's fine. I don't think you can get the special stage here, can you? I, th I think, like, Scrap Brain 1 is the last chance you get. Not that we're getting there, it's just, just nice to know. Scrap Brain is also an excellent name for, for a fortress. No, give, give me my ring back. Thank you. No! <laughs> oh, that could have gone so badly. Oh, boy. Maybe we'll get those Chaos Emeralds another time, but not this time. It's actually been a couple of years since I've played through this and beat it. Outside of uh, Sonic Origins, that doesn't count. Totally different experience. Okay. Starlight 2, oh. Really? I forgot about that. Anyway, here he is. Oh, he's, he's, he's happy about this, isn't he? Surprise! That's right, they send you back here. I am 
I regret to inform you that you have to do another Labyrinth Zone. <laughs> uh, there is... Uh, is it like a zip of some kind that you can... You can skip like a lot of this, but we, we won't be doing that. Or maybe it was the other route that I just took. But there is like a speed running trick to... Um, what happens? Uh, yeah, you like zip through and get to the end immediately. Yeah, I've, I've put myself on the long route, haven't I? And I just hit a checkpoint, so... <laughs> Good. No, it's fine. Listen, sometimes you gotta take the scenic route, you know? Maybe it'll build character. How long have we been playing, anyway? An hour and 23 minutes. I see. Whoa, whoa. Where are the rings? Where are my rings? Yeah, I'm thinking about it now. Yeah, you, um... You get underneath the platform at the start and you, you go on a shorter route. Thank you. No, no, too early. I, I, want, I, want, I wanted my rings. Don't you dare. Well, this is fine. If we have to continue, we have to continue. We did manage to pretty get a pretty decent stockpile of lives, at least. No, too early. There we go. It would not surprise me if the bubbles storm less frequently here. So when we get through this tunnel, there's a automatic platform, the worst part of uh There we go. That's such a mean trick. I don't like it. <laughs> Come on. No 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 reason to panic. We're, we're gonna get through we're gonna get to the end of this. Probably. Listen, if Sonic's taught me anything, it's that, uh, nothing can survive the will to stay alive, so we can do anything. Oh, back in we go. Oh, fuck. What even hit? Oh, I, I didn't even see those spikes up there. This is very bad. There's air up here, right? No. Ah, uh, this is how it ends. Oh, no, wait, wait, hang on. Yeah, there it is. We have one continue. But that should start us at the beginning. Yes. So we can do this. That just means we have an excuse to play Sonic again in the future. 
We'll, we'll get that 1cc someday. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is down here? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that was good. <laughs> Complete ambush. You love to see it. Come on. Yeah, that this um there is a lot of slowdown um in the original game at points. So that, that's not too unusual. Come on. Okay, that, that kind of worked, I guess. Okay, well, I know, I know roughly where I am now. Once we get to the final boss, that's pretty much a pushover, so we should be all right. Okay, we're back where we were. It's a good thing we got that... <laughs> Fuck, I, I keep falling for that. As I was saying, it's very lucky that we got that continue early on when we did. Because otherwise, uh, we'd be restarting right now. Okay, there's there's no time to faff about here. Not again. Spawn an air bubble, you fuck. Come on. Oh, oh. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. No, no, this is this is this is good. This is good, actually. It means we're gonna we're just gonna wreck through the the rest of the game. Oh, wait, wait, no. Hang on. I see the I see the issue here. Okay. I was very silly and I didn't take. There we go, that's better. Fortunately, I know that there's a uh, air up here. We just need to get to it before we die. That seems doable. That seems plausible. Please, please, I'm begging you. Come on. Not again. Come on. Okay, we're living. Yeah, there's too much shit going on on this one screen. I'm not leaving until I get another one. <laughs> That's better. Oh no, this is really fucking dangerous. Fuck you, yes! <laughs> we out! One life, no pressure. Easy.
totally got this. I don't like when he does his balancing act there. This is this is just a waiting game, really. Ooh. Making exertion noises over here. Hope you like this music loop. I'm actually scared. This might be the end. Oh, we are getting lucky in this corner at least. Oh no, where's the... Okay, okay. There's a big gap there. No such luck this time. I'm gonna I'm gonna maintain my position here because I'm terrified. One oh, how many was that? I really don't like this center one because it's because if Sonic does his balancing animation, it, it gets a little, it gets a little hairy. Yes, we did it. All right. Ah, oh, feels good. <laughs> Woo, we did it. Oh, submitting ring chain ranking. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> I didn't even have to think about that. I was like, you know, no, I'm, I'm, I'm smacking Eggman in the butt. That's, uh, it's the only way to end the game. Thanks, thanks everyone. <laughs> so we didn't get the true ending, but that's fine. It was never gonna happen. I'm, I'm really bad at, um, you know. Getting, getting the Chaos Emeralds. Okay, one thing that did drive me nuts about the mobile port is it no longer fades to blue. It doesn't do that cool blue fading. That That's my favorite part. Yeah, e Eggman can have them. So while the credits roll, I've got a couple things to link. Uh, first off, uh, needless to say, Sonic 1 and the Mega Drive Sonic games are incredibly well documented. Uh, mostly by the people at Sonic Retro. And there's also a ton of information about uh, the game's development and its the, the stuff that's missing from it. The, the stuff that's hidden inside the, uh, the data over at the cutting room floor. And finally, um, we have a uh, fr uh, friend in the chat, Straw Bros, uh, More Kitten, did some great articles on the Mega Drive Sonic games. Uh, you can read that one here. And there's also uh, this video that they did. So there you go. Yeah, I've heard about those TCRF uh, people. Can't believe it. Nerds. Anyway, uh, Eggman's... Uh, he, he's got the four of the six Chaos Emeralds. He didn't get all of them, at least. That's something, right? Breaking content. Right? No? Okay. So, before we... Uh... Ah. 
<laughs> I believe uh, I believe we've been told to have a stretch break. We'll do that in just two seconds because I want to quickly show off some extras in this version. So you get three versions. You get uh, Japan, the international version, and the Mega Play version. And you can also add the spin dash and the drop dash. So this was this was an arcade version of the game, which um, there was Mega Tech and Mega Play. Mega Tech was more like Play, Ch Play Choice Ten, where you bought time, but here uh, you just you just insert a coin and play. I think these are more common in Europe and Japan. Take control. So, how do they adapt Sonic to be an actual arcade game? I have actually seen one of these in the wild, so... Have you seen the big difference? <laughs> There's a big old timer counting down from 50 seconds. So yeah, that's that's the entire gimmick. Um, rather than rather than counting up to nine fifty nine, it counts down from a specific time for each stage. So uh, you have to haul ass and get to the end before your time runs out. I saw this in a Sega Land in Tamworth back in the day, and it drove me nuts that. Nobody seemed to know this even existed. Oh, pardon me. So, uh, other big differences. There's no special stage. We ain't got time for that. We listen. We got. We got to keep. We got to keep this thing moving. We. We. Uh... Sonic has to be rolling around at the speed of sound, or he's going to die. <laughs> Fortunately. The speed sneakers, the power sneakers, help immensely with this. Additionally, uh, extra lives no longer give you extra lives. You've got a limit of three. You can never get extends in any way. And extra lives only give 5,000 points. There's no point extends either. Now, this is a nice little bonus. I'm glad that they included it, but I do have a criticism. Um, the original arcade machine had dip switches to alter the difficulty. And uh, they are not present in this version of the game, which is a shame. Because uh, some of the harder difficulty settings are bonkers. <laughs> Fortunately, we can cheat a little in this version. We have the drop dash from Sonic Mania and the uh, the spin dash. However, as I said, the drop dash is affected rather negatively by the uh, roll lock of this uh, version of the the Sonic One in general. Which basically means that you can't use it as effectively as you can in uh, Sonic Mania, because when you jump, your scrolling is locked. Your uh, your jump trajectory is locked. Let me see if I can demonstrate. So you can't you can't turn around in midair to keep doing a, a drop dash, essentially. So what's the other big difference? Yeah, the, uh, no, as far as I'm aware, all it does is change, uh, how much time you have. So, on Green Hill Zone Act 1, you have 30 seconds. Oh, what's this? Huh? What's, what's going on here? What's this? <laughs> uh, if you didn't like Marble Zone or Labyrinth Zone, you are in luck. They are not here. <laughs> they are gone completely. They just fucking cut them. 
the get the the data is still in the game but if you try to force it into marble zone or labyrinth zone they gave no timer to them so you immediately die so yeah if you if your hatred for marble zone knows no bounds do i have the version of sonic 1 for you Yeah, uh, th thanks for that. Does that have the, the timetable with the, uh, uh, the, uh, the the different times that you get for each zone? Excellent. Good. Yeah, have a look at some of those hard mode times. Anyway, we're not, we're not going to play through all of this. But there is one thing I would like to demonstrate, and that's the high score table. Because this game has a high score table now. Yeah, if we, I'd like to at least beat this. Beat this stage. Whoa. And yeah, to be fair, uh, you know, I I can't be too hard on him too. I, I'm a particular stickler for dip switches because so many games leave them out. Eh, you know how it is. Anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's end this credit. We'll end this credit and then we'll do our, uh, have our stretch break. Maybe I can find my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be looking for those all night. I know it. Y you might say I'm playing Sonic uh, Blind tonight. Huh? Huh? No? Uh, okay. Uh -oh. I'll see myself out. This is probably like the least efficient way to die. Because you kind of you kind of forced to pick up some rings on on your way here. Check that out. Oh, wait, hang on. I have to switch the, uh, I hadn't thought about that. You have to switch the ring chain off to, to see what you're typing. There we go. So, uh, Knuckles, the... Echidna, there we go. Oh, and you can insert a coin to continue if you want. <laughs> That's good, I forgot about this. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, the special stage music goes unused otherwise. But yeah, that's, uh, that's Sega Ages Sonic uh, the Hedgehog. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, first I'm going to change the game name before I forget. Oh, there is one more thing. Hang on. There is one more thing we got to do. So um, here's the here's the Japanese. Oh, yes, yes, it was secretly QTQ. You're right. <laughs> here's the Japanese box for Sonic 1. Here's the US box for Sonic 1. And, um, I, I don't, the, the US box art isn't bad, but I've always preferred that art of Sonic on the Japanese one. And I also really like the PAL cover. It's very simple, but I think it gets the point across. I've always liked the, the kind of beige background there. It's cool. Anyway, um, right. Okay. I'm going to take a break now because I, I really need one. We'll be back with Sonic 2. This this stream might go on for a while. <laughs>
<laughs> ah, it's, it's fine every now and then, right? So I'll see you in a moment. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was like, so when I was coming up with the 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 track list for the mic for the opening mixtape, I was like, I don't really have time to put live and learn in there, but I found a way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> also, I found my glasses. <laughs> I, I put them in the laundry basket by mistake. Anyway, uh, so we're going to play uh, this game. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And uh, here's the... I picked the PAL box art because it has... The, the US one has the checkerboard, but... Uh, um. But but it's it's like black and white, and this one I I I, I prefer this one. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say with new elves, uh, I stopped myself. Okay, so this doesn't have as many changes as like there's no there's no mega play version here, but it does it does include the drop dash if you want. Oh, thank you, Sephiroth, for the hundred bits. Who is that? Who is that little fellow? Hang on. What the? No, I didn't. I didn't mean to. No. Uh, no. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> there. Uh, oh, I'm pinned this there. Oh. I was. I was just trying to find out who. What, what that emote was. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Yes. Neko Ark has blessed the stream at last. Okay, uh, let me... Actually, to be fair, to be fair, the music plays at the right speed in the PAL version of Sonic 2. It's Sonic 1 where it's fucked up <laughs> and awful. Oh, Sonic 1 PAL is so sad. Oh shit, it's that guy! It's the Bully Brother! <gasps> we got both of them! I've never actually seen them show up. Yeah, definitely not Heart from uh, Fist of the North Star. Knuckles in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So you do get two different... Uh, challenges. I didn't really show that off in the first one, but that's fine. Uh, let's check our options. You can play the Japanese or the international version. I don't think the differences are as stark, but uh, the Japanese version refers to Tails as Miles. We'll, we'll, we'll go with the international one. Uh, we'll, we'll keep the drop dash off just to keep things faithful. Okay. And again, this has the ring keep mode in case you want rings on the death egg. I love the title screen animation so much. How cool is that? Oh. <laughs> now. Oh, and the little the little jingle when there's the sparkle. That's so cool. No, wrong button. There we go. Now, you know, we can play as Sonic and Tails. Or Sonic alone. But there's only one true answer. We gotta play as the best boy. Now, there's, a, there's, there's quite a few changes going on here. There's, uh, from the first game, there's... We've got, we've got the spin dash, which we didn't use. Which allows you to get back up to speed very quickly. As long as you're good at mashing. So, you know, good luck with that. Uh, 
Uh, the special stage system has been completely reworked also. Ah. We met. Oh no, we can't. However, we are rushing through this zone for a reason. We kind of need a big uh, score bonus to get a to get a continue, just to make sure we've got one. Okay, that's good. This is this is the only way to get continues in this game, unless you can get them in the special stage as well. I don't I don't think you can. Now, uh, we've, we've gone down from three acts per stage to two acts, uh, but there's more, there's more zones to explore. Now, uh, the story, pretty famous, is that um, Yuji Naka left Sonic Team after finishing up the first game because he was unhappy with how things were going with Sega. And he got, but he got an offer to go work in the States. So this game was worked on by STI as well. And it had a troubled development with a lot of stuff cut. Now, these special stages look great. They look amazing. But there's a lot of them. And um, they kind of completely disrupt the flow of uh, gameplay because rather than be compartmentalized at the end of every act, they're in the middle of acts. And there's another horrible surprise waiting for us once we're done here. Cool. Get 130 wins. So there's, there's three rounds in each of these. If you don't reach the quota, you don't move on to the next round. Ultimately, not getting the Chaos Emerald, which, you know, we, we, we want that. We want to at least get one. That that way, we, we, we've made like a moral victory. There it is. <laughs> Is that true about Yuji Naka? I never had no idea. <laughs> now, um, one thing that was... I don't know whether it was discovered recently, but... Um, those special stages have a perfect bonus if you get every single ring. Um, that's shown to be, like, literally impossible <laughs> for some of them. Like, it's, it's just... you can't do it. Uh, like, uh, I think there's been, like, tool-assisted speedruns to get the, uh, to get the perfect bonus on the ones that they can, but not all of them. Not all of them is possible. Anyway, here's our, here's our friend, Eggman. He is the man with the master plan, after all, but, uh... The bosses are probably slightly better in this. They're, they're a little more varied, but they're still not much of a challenge. Yes, you can get supersonic really early. Would you want to? <laughs> what, was there a bot? Did I miss one? Oh, shit. Hold on. I'm, I completely missed the bot. Dear. Oh, that's nice. I'm guessing they've already been banned. Oh, oh, come on. There we go. Okay, right. Well, that's that's that sorted. I was I was I was I was I was too busy focusing on the incredibly difficult boss fight. <laughs> And of course, here's the famous showcase stage, the chemical plant. The stage is fast because you get to uh, roll a lot. 
I think they they removed the the speed cap, uh, so you can you can just you can just go maximum speed without having to roll. But roll lock is still in place, so you gotta watch out for that. Also, notice that Tails' name is in uh, in air quotes because that's his nickname. It's not his real name. The, uh, his creator was very insistent on keeping the miles per hour joke, and you know what? He was right to do so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't remember making that save state, but the fact that it's Metropolis makes a lot of sense. <laughs> oh, if you jump in the air and hold forward. Interesting. What was Sonic's real name in the comics? In the Archie comics? I know that it was something weird. Maurice, was it? Oh yeah, they they did um, they did that art, didn't they, uh, for the thirtieth anniversary of Tails? Every everyone loves that boy. He is a good little lad, bless his heart. I was all when playing this back in the nineties. I was always player two, so I got a natural affinity for Tails. Whoops, <laughs> I don't quite know what I hit there. Oh, thank you. Oh, goodness. Thank you, Feltem Propatio, for the for gifting us up to Rachel Retro. Enjoy your UFO co uh, icon. Bless you. Was that meant to happen? Mysterious. Just for the culture, let's do another special stage. What? Whoa. Oh, thank you, Tremmy, for, for subscribing. Wow, eight months. That's a lot of months. That's a lot of months mostly populated by t Turtles games. <laughs> oh, you know, going back over uh, what, I, what I was streaming, it occurred to me just how many Turtles, how many weeks I was playing Turtles games for. I'm so sorry. <laughs> There was just an infinite amount of Turtles games. Oh, oh no, we fucked this up already, probably. Yeah, apparently to get like the perfect score on some of these stages, you have to be in perfect sync with your partner. You have to do it two player. There's no other way to do it. Oh no, somehow we dodged that. We got hit, but it didn't take rings. What? Wait, what? What, what, is, go what is going on in here? <laughs> Who authorized this hype train? Uh, thank you so much for the subscription, Hog to No Shock. Uh, I don't know what a hype train is. I've I've never figured it out. <laughs> D don't explain it to me. That that'll ruin the joke. <laughs> what does this button do? Nobody knows. Okay. Uh, and here's here's a bit nobody likes, because uh, the water slowly rises. And if you're not fast enough, it'll you, you'll, you'll get you'll get you'll get drowned. But tails is too fast for that. So okay, what is the chat's thoughts on Sonic 2: The Hedgehog? 
do you prefer this or the first game? Or are they? do they both appeal to different parts of your brain? Is there a consensus? Will we ever know? No! <laughs> that would have been sick! Damn it! <laughs> I see we have a lot of different opinions in chat. That's good. That's good. Yeah, it's it's mysterious, isn't it? I it it seems so short that it ends at Mystic Caves and no one has ever seen beyond it. As <laughs> Drop Rose, you're right. Three, four, five, six, seven. Ah nearly. <laughs> What? <laughs> All time record. What? I I'm being told on records been shouted. I don't understand any of this. Uh, thank you for the hundred bits, Tremmy. <laughs> <laughs> World record gameplay. That's what it was. Okay, I understand. <laughs> I, d I don't know what the record was, but we, we broke it. Anyway, here, here's our buddy Grounder, famous star of Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> World record. <laughs> um, I'm glad that it's the Sonic stream that gets completely unhinged. No, let's let's. Okay. I think this is fair if we do like one special stage of zone. That spreads them out a little. So I'm gonna find those extra rings. This is gonna be such a disaster. This is gonna this is not gonna end well. Oh, okay, we got him. Yeah, uh, he he would be. Ba um, we're, we're actually going to see Scratch later. Oh, thank you for the hundred bits, Sard. Whoa, hold on, I missed something. Thank you for the uh, subscription, Tosil, and thank you, Sardu, for the hundred bits. What, what's what's going on? I'm not used to this kind of attention. This is weird. Is it because Tails is on stream? Is that is that it? Uh, d Tails brings the crowd. So I should I should have known. Oh no! Go. Oh. What? What? D another hundred bits from Tremmy. Tremmy. What? Why? No. Thank you. But why? <laughs> uh. Uh, got the feeling I'm not I'm not making it this time. Oh, seven. No, that's oh. Hey, okay, we're still in there. <laughs> hey, I played Mario last week. <laughs> no, no, you see, I think I figured it out. It's because my audience is Sega fans; they know what's up. Also, that the hype train is at 39%. Keep it there. <laughs> That's my lucky number, uh, aside from 252. <laughs> Hi, Electric Boogaloo. Uh, I'm sorry if you were there earlier. I, I, I didn't spot you. We're playing uh, Sonic 2 with the good boy. So, yeah, like I said, I, I don't like... The fact that special stages are in the middle of stages because it just completely ruins the flow. You 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 you're doing your your thing, being a being a small fox boy, and then you do the special stage, and it just it's just kind of a lot. 
I will say that La uh, this is a way better water stage than Labyrinth Zone. Except for this bit, which we're about to die in, probably. Ooh. Bubble, please. Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't get very far in Mega Play Sonic 1. Just stuck to String Yard, but, uh... What? Uh, thank you, anonymous gifter, for the, for the, for the, for the, for the uh, community gift sub to Tim Pot Gamer. Wow. Uh. <laughs> how how do streamers deal with this on a daily basis? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, okay. Uh. I've reached new levels of support, apparently. And, uh, poor Tails is about to drown. Come on, bubbles, please. Thank you. Also, it's great that the hype train thing is covering up my view of chat, so I can't see what anyone's talking about. Come on, come on. Thank you. Yeah, there's there's not that much out there about Mega Play. Um I I think there were like some that were un that are still undumped. But I'm I'm guessing it was probably like a, a European thing, given that there's not much US documentation. Anyway, here's the trick here. <laughs> we just we just stand here. Well, that that's that's the trick in theory. Ah, he got me. Unfortunately his invincibility is too long, so you can't you can't just bully him like we did in um, chemical plan. Sega was smart, they knew what they were doing. Anyway, there he goes. <laughs> Eggman does have active frames. Anyway, we're moving on to the sleaziest casino on earth. I love this music. <laughs> anyway, let's let's do some gambling. Come on, big money. No, that's not what I wanted. Get me back in. No, I, 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 I've got, I've got a feeling about this. No, no, put me back in. Oh, oh, no. Look, look, I can feel the jackpot. It's, it's right around the corner. back in. <laughs> I can win it this time. Yes! Yes! No! <laughs> Man, this is a... This is a... <laughs> Tremmy, don't encourage me. I will run the clock out. One more time. One more time. I'm, 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 I'm sure I can win this time.
Yes. 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 No. That's not good enough. Another. <laughs> At least it doesn't cost you anything. Bah. No. Eh, that's, that's fine, I guess. What if it's easier to hit from this one? Nope. Definitely not. How much time are we going to waste here? We're just going to... Listen. I can feel it. The, the big win is just around the corner. Yes! What did I tell you? There we go. I consider that a victory. <laughs> now now all we need is a is a checkpoint. So I can lose all of my winnings immediately. I'm I'm kind of a little surprised they could get away with this. It's it's so explicitly gambling themed. Wolf! I didn't mean to do that. And there's the there's Miles, of course. Oh no, I haven't. Is that the is that the album that had like the uh the version of uh that unused song that feels like it was for a cutscene. Like, they, they, it actually has like an ending to the song rather than just leaving. I seem to remember something like that. The one that everyone thought was Hidden Palace. Oop. Oop. These, uh, these special stages are pretty rough. They get incredibly difficult. Get 110 rings. And uh, back in the day, the only way I could beat these was there was a there was a uh, a guide released by Sega called the Solid Gold Guide that had the exact instructions on how to beat each special stage, which is really funny when you think about it. Oh no, this this isn't going well. No, no. Yeah, I think I think we're done. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'll have to look into that one again. That that soundtrack again. And yeah, it was, it was a different era, and uh, gambling was more commonly represented in kids' games. The the one I always think about is. Uh, Pokemon's Game Center, which literally had slot machines, and they they kind of remove those from the modern uh, Pokemon games, which makes sense. No, nope. maybe, maybe it's time to wrap up this zone. <laughs> I think. Uh... I also like the parallax scrolling on this stage. So I think it, I think it was this zone. Um, there there was like a revision that fixed because uh, the, the 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 
the post of the signpost was actually sticking through the floor. And I think most, uh, most divisions fix that. Anyway, here's our only bad Nick in this, uh, this zone. Oh, we haven't talked about him, have we? So, um, Flicky is one of the animal friends that you can rescue. A little passing of the torch from one Sega mascot to another. I also found out only recently that apparently Flicky is not a mother bird. Like, I always assumed that they were. Anyway, we've just lost all our rings. Ah, the slot machine is a cruel mistress. That, that's enough gambling for me. Uh, win winners don't do gambling, kids. Only have a little flutter when the Grand National's on. That's the rules. That sentence probably makes no sense to our American viewers. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, or, or a gacha. Uh, gacha in moderation, please. We haven't talked about the one gacha game that I play, have we? <laughs> okay, try and guess what gacha game do I play? Th think about the kind of games that I am interested in. See if you can guess. <laughs> Oh well, we're, we're in the boss fight now. This is actually one of my favourite bosses. I really like this one. It actually requires you to uh, jump about a bit and use the... You can do some pretty sick things in this fight if you know what you're doing with the rolling. And jumping off the walls. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Bob and Bob Space War, that's it. <laughs> no, I'm joking. The only downside is that there's a flipper right, there's a, there's a bumper right at the top, so you can't just go all the way around. It's like an actual pinball table. Can we just do this for a while? This seems fun. <laughs> yeah, no, this... <laughs> Can we just make this a stream? <laughs> Tails, uh, Tails trapped in a pinball machine <laughs> uh, with sleazy casino vibes to gamble to. <laughs> oh, somebody did. You know what? I'll do a stretch break now. That sounds good to me. All I gotta do is hold the button. The clock is still ticking, but that's fine. Uh, and the the gacha I play, the only one I play, is Ark Knights. It's simultaneously super edgy, and uh, one of the characters has a skateboard that she's uh, she has to file paperwork to use. So it's great. Eventually, the bumpers stop giving you points. Ark Knights has a lot of funny animal girls. <laughs> Obviously, my favourite is Ifrit, the fire starter. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> so, 
So yeah, as I was saying, Flicky was an arcade game that we played on this stream and they live on in the Sonic series. Good for them. I'm not gonna lie, this is like one of my favourite songs in the game. Also, because I'm not very bright, or wasn't very bright as a child, it took me until adulthood to figure out that this is just a palette swap of Emerald Hill Zone. Obviously there's a lot of unique elements, but the, the, the basic ground tiles are just from Emerald Hill. Did you know that? Did you know that the clouds and the, the bushes are the same in Mario Brothers? <laughs> Yes, I have that very cartridge, actually. Uh, that was the first way I played uh, Gunstar Heroes, the classics collection. Yeah, it's, it's mostly the ground tiles and the wall tiles, but they are... it's just Emerald Hill. Uh, one of the one of the concepts during development was having time travel, and uh, there was at least one other zone that they planned to have like uh, change the palette to change the feel of the zone, the desert zone, which was supposed to turn into a snow zone. But this game had something of a tumultuous development. Um, a lot of stuff was cut. I've never figured out what to do here without the invincibility. Oh. Yeah, it's 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 amazing what just a little bit of changing can do. I should be able to get up there, but how? That's not it. Okay. Has any Sonic game had a calm, uneventful development? That is true. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. I noticed that some songs in the beta versions were slower, but by like points of a percent. Anyway, we've got to continue. That's that's good enough. Let's see if we can get that Chaos Emeralds. That damn fourth Chaos Emeralds, that's the one we're on. <laughs> oh, I want to take the high route, I've never seen it. I think one, one, ele one design element that only recently occurred to me was that because the, uh, because the, the the, the checkpoints are the way into the bonus, st uh, the, the special stages. They kind of had to hide some of the checkpoints, so you have to figure out how to get to them. Which is kind of a bit weird when you think about it. No, it's, it's, it's rebuffing my advances, that's fine. There we go. No. <laughs> That's better. Yeah, because like some of the checkpoints in Emerald Hill Zone, you have to figure out how to actually get to them. Which is kind of weird when you think about it. I wanted to be a hero. What a fool. Again, it doesn't matter. Chaos Emeralds or whatever. Especially for Tails, because he gets no benefit to them. No! Oh, I wanted that. I wanted to get there. Ooh, just barely.
help? Oh! I don't think I've ever taken this route before. I usually get the one that's got the rising lava instead. good. <laughs> it's nice that even after all these years there's stuff you can find out about these games. I always like that. I imagine that's gonna be me a lot with uh, Sonic CD. That's the... fuck. <laughs> that's the one I played the least. There are some weird alternate paths. That is true. Uh, it's boss time. Oh well. Ah, that would have been perfect. Same tales, the same. <sighs> that is right, Mark Cerny did work on this game. Uh, Mark Cerny also worked on the Sega, uh, what was it? Sega Game Library, uh, the, the download, the, the card you could download games to. That was only recently revealed. differences between Sonic 2 and Sonic CD are really fascinating. Oh, is it move? Uh, did it move me? No, no, it didn't move me ahead. Oh, pardon me. Nah, it doesn't do the Sonic 1 thing. It, it makes you do them in order. Makes sense. Whoop. Nope. Uh, needless to say, the the modern, the, the mobile and Sonic Origins version of this is uh, a little easier. It's easier to predict where the, the rings are going to be because you can actually sort of see them. Kind of. No. No. Okay, <laughs> just barely. Uh, got the feeling we're not going to win this time. Especially since I don't remember the pattern. This is looking a bit grim. There we go. Oh, it's it's right there. I can almost touch it. <laughs> oh, that's that's the thing I forgot to mention. When you go to a special stage, it takes all of your rings away. <laughs> That is something uh, they changed for the mobile version. It uh, you get to keep your rings. I always like this zone. I think it's got a very strong aesthetic. The uh, the lanterns are a really nice touch. 
it helps that the music is uh, an absolute top jam. Whoop, whoop. Fear, fear. Uh, no. That's fine. Yes, yes it does. They they didn't want you keeping rings. Um, I'm kind of determined now. This is breaking up the flow of the game, but I must be a winner. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm not mad. <laughs> uh, no, it's it's okay. No, nobody cares about special stages, right? That's that's the rule. It's kind of funny to think about that one of the big things about Sonic Heroes is that they brought the special stages back. The, the one thing gamers had been clamouring for, more special stages. I've heard that a cappella one. And yeah, this this stage has the pit, the bane of all uh, supersonic players, but. Uh, it does not lead to Hidden Palace as it does in the remasters. I like these windy paths because it feels like almost like a little race course in the middle of nowhere. And the fact that you can see one. I did that on purpose just for the culture. I had to. Sh I we had to see that pit. <laughs> the uh, the reason it it's so infamous is if you're supersonic, you can't die. So you just have to wait for your rings to run out because you can't get out of that pit. Not showing the pit would feel wrong somehow. <laughs> the pit claims another victim. <laughs> uh, same as it ever was. Speed shoe seems like a bad idea in this zone, actually. Ooh. But as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. On the lower route, you can actually see like another uh, path in the back, and it, it it just looks cool. I like it. Actually, that's something that more kittens articles pointed out that I hadn't really consciously thought about. But the lower and upper routes actually have like different background designs in a lot of cases, so you have an idea of where you are. I'm deter I'm I'm mad now. <laughs> I'm just getting mad at the game. G give me my chaos emeralds, cowards.
Yeah, the only way I could do this back in the day was with a text guide that explained exactly where to stand for each set of rings. I think we got it this time. Excuse me? <laughs> that pit had a spring? <laughs> Who the fuck removed it? Is that one of Robotnik's evil traps? <laughs> oh, that's amazing! Oh, I... You know, I was looking up prototype stuff before the stream and I, I didn't spot that one. Good stuff. <laughs> nope. There we go. Now we're in business. <laughs> of course that's why he went to jail. Oh, it all it all adds together now. It all makes sense. <laughs> Thank you for that essential information. That is wild. No. <laughs> I I'm glad we're all having fun with uh, that mysterious rascal known as Yuji Naka. Oh, wait, no, this is a bad idea. <laughs> uh, I had not fact I had not factored in the fact that there's checkpoints before the bosses. Wait, can I Oh, are you kid No! N no! Well, I guess we're doing this without rings now. That that one's on me, I guess. Cool. Wait, hold on. No, there's gotta be a... <laughs> yeah, no, there's there's no way out. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Yuji knackered, yes, good. <laughs> it, it's best we get all these jokes out of our system, you know? Okay, well, this isn't so bad. We just have to not get hit by anything. No! I'm not mad. And yeah, Tails can't fly here. He, he didn't learn that until Sonic 3. There's no safe spot, is there? <laughs> I just kind of have to take this. Wait until he moves. No! So we're not allowed to touch the drill at all. Just, just got to do baby jumps on it. I see. Well, I mean, we got. It's not like we we have a lack of time. Patience is the key. I think one more hit. Fortunately, the rocks don't hurt you, it's just the spikes. There we go, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is why the game ends. Yeah, so uh, I don't know if you knew this, but we're actually at the end of the game now. Officially, the game ends here. I know it's really weird, it's fucked up, but th this is it. For some reason, that that's the final boss. It's not... It's not what I'd call a, a particularly climactic one, but oh. Uh, uh, oh! Oh, the. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I thought I, we, we're in uncharted territory here. I thought the game ended, but clearly that is a mistake. <laughs> the joke here is that <laughs> people don't like Oil Ocean Zone and they certainly do not like the next zone. Yeah. So, um, I don't have the tweet to hand, but somebody explained how the oil works here. What it's actually doing is there's a platform that's constantly following you uh, underneath the, the oil. And when you step on it, it drops, it slowly moves down until it drops from under your feet and that's why you die. That's, that's, that's really clever. Unfortunately, it's in Oil Ocean Zone, so not a single human alive has seen it. <laughs> it was designed by one of the... Amer uh, this was designed by Craig Stitt, you say? Interesting. <laughs> okay, uh, can we have a show of hands? Who is annoyed that this was put in Sonic Mania? Come on, be honest. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anyone expected this zone to return. Especially not with a Sandopolis Act 2-esque uh, gimmick. That, that was not on my bingo card. <laughs> Wait, which was the guy who released all the stuff about Sonic Extreme? Was that, was that Stit? The submarines were cool, I, I will, I will cop to that. That, that's fair. <laughs> Sen, that's right, yes. Oh, Sonic Extreme, that poor game. I see, okay. I, back, back in my uh, pre-Sonic Heroes days when I was voraciously devouring any information about Sonic games, I I read up a lot about Extreme, you know, before before co uh, builds of the game got dumped. I was absolutely one of those people who played the, uh, the Simon Y prototype a lot. Oh, is that where he went? Oh, that's good. And a game by Insomniac about a dragon, you say? These mascots are connected closer than you think. There's a... what the... <laughs> Why'd they put spikes there? <laughs> That, that seems unnecessary. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Spike placement is my passion. I remember people used to think Sonic uh, Crackers was fake. Because it had a, a build date of April 1st. Oh, no, wait, no, I can make it. I can make it. There we go. Oh, no, I don't want to. Oh. Uh, the, uh, I think the, I think the Chaos Emerald Dream has died a while back. Let, let me out. Let me out. No. Okay, 
that's good. I have... I have thoughts on some of the STI games, mostly Comic Zone. Most of those thoughts are unrepeatable. <laughs> we have we have to stream Comic Zone at some point because I was cursed with the gift of being able to one credit clear it. Yeah, that's so fucked up. Uh, game development. My only complaint... So, so you know what? We're going to read this out because this is good. Um, uh, Craig Stitt quote. Uh, My only complaint was that if art had to get cut out, it always seemed to be the Americans on the team who got whose art got cut. Sometimes this was because the art wasn't working, but on other occasions, I don't believe this was the case, such as with Hidden Palace, although I was never happy with the far background. Yeah, that that doesn't surprise me. Sega's internal politics are well documented. Anyway, that this boss is almost identical to the last one. <laughs> it's just you can you can sit in the water this time. Uh, here's the famous Sega Peed that I've heard so much about lately. There we go. Easy boss. Easy game. So I've heard there's a there's a there's a there's a zone after this one. Can it possibly be true? No, there's no way. They would they wouldn't they wouldn't put the worst zone in the game after Oh. Oh. Okay everybody, welcome to hell. <laughs> this is where Play uh, run throughs of Sonic 2 go to die. This zone sucks. <laughs> We're gonna do our best though. We're not gonna give up. We gotta one credit clear this. I'm lost already. This is a good sign. There's a There's a hack that the that, that, that sorts this zone out. Oh that rules. I'm glad the Sonic community is doing the right stuff. <laughs> It's uh, at least the music's good. That's something. But man, this these zones just go on forever and they're just kind of not fun. And there's three of them. The third being uh if I remember right, it was um the uh, the layout is taken from the scrapped Genocide City Zone, later renamed the Cyber City Zone because um you know, may maybe don't use that word in your kid's game. Cool. I haven't seen a single checkpoint, by the way. Have you? Ah, thank you. Thank you. This is a little easier with Sonic and Tails because they can... I'm pretty sure if you get both of them running on the screws, they, they do it faster.
Ooh. Ah. Oh, <laughs> that's too many star enemies. <laughs> This is fine. I have accepted my fate. <laughs> We've actually done way better on Chaos Emeralds than I thought we did we would. That, that's gonna change. That's gonna change very, very quickly. Okay. 90 rings, that, that seems doable. Oh, this is, this is this one, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh. Just got, just gotta follow the rings round. And don't get in the center. There we are. Oh, oh, I'm scared. Fear, fear. Oh, oh, could this be happening? Nine rings. Oh, oh, hey, we in there. How many is that? Is that six? Did anyone, did anyone else see that glitch? I'm gonna have to, gonna have to watch the VT on that one, figure out what's going on there. <laughs> Ah, this is the endlessly scrolling vertical section. Ah, yes, I know where I am now. I'm in hell. <laughs> let, please let me out. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah, there's, there's still two more acts of this. Now, lava is here. Oh, one, one extra feature I forgot to mention in this uh, Switch version. There's actually HD rumble for uh, hitting enemies and uh, boxes. They didn't need to add that, but they did. Springs as well. These actually have smooth rotation in the uh, the mobile version, and it's weird. <laughs> it just it it doesn't look right. G give give me that janky janky movement. Yeah, sadly there is an HD rumble for Sonic One, but they added it for this one. Weirdly, one of the best games for HD Rumble is Splatterhouse on the uh, the Namco Museum uh, collection. It feels very satisfying. That almost hit me. That would have been extremely bad. <laughs> I would have been upset. Uh. Yeah, um, the, the, the Chaos Emerald Dream might be dead. I very much doubt we'll get to get to go there in Wing Fortress. But it's, n to be fair, 
The final one is so difficult that we probably wouldn't be able to do it anyway. The final one has sequences... <laughs> I'm just upset. <laughs> I just need a moment. Um, no, the uh, the final one has sequences where it's just there are rings completely random and you don't know where they're going to be. So good luck, asshole. Also, I hope you like these uh, star enemies, um, because Sonic Origins has a mission where you have to fight those guys in Sky Chase Zone. <laughs> yeah, the, it, it's just as awful as you think it is. I can feel it. The end is close. Because we're, we're nearly there. No. Whoop. Hey, there we go. Yeah, this 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 zone is still going. I'm afraid. I prefer those guys in Sonic CD. They're much more civilized. These giant cogs are, are a cool effect, though. I like them. Yeah. Mysterious gates. No, you get you get the hell away from me. <laughs> Not dealing with you. No. Oh, skill. Yes. <gasps> Fuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> you. Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, this zone is long enough. There's probably going to be another chance. Don't mind me, I'm just quietly seething. <laughs> Fuck this zone. Uh, at least it's got jams. Are you kidding? <laughs> How dare you? I've never said a funny word in my life. <laughs> yeah, that is the worst placed bad dick in Sonic history. <laughs> I can, I can, I can, I can accept that. There's second place. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not being jokerified. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not slowly turning into the Joker. This isn't a Tower of Duraga stream. <laughs> I 
I'm wa watching that guy like a hawk. Is... Is Tails too small to activate these? Is that what's happening? <laughs> By the way, did, did I... Did I fuck up? Is the, uh... Is the Breaking Contact video still playing or not? I, I'm not sure. Oh no, please come back. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe that's what's causing the problem. Hmm. I see. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll look into that for next. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on. I hate this. <laughs> okay, I will I will look into what's gone wrong with breaking contact. Um that that is a job for another time. For now. <sighs> okay, surely it has to have come back now, right? There's no way. I'm gonna find a. I'm gonna find a hole to have a tantrum in. <laughs> okay, no, that's fine. We start again. First time was fine. I see. Interesting. <laughs> it's fine. Normal. Normal. Just, 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 just everything's fine. <laughs> Right, uh, clearly I need to, I need to have a, an extra, <laughs> I need to have some extra expressions for this uh, streamer, but for, for the streamer whose name was stolen because Sonic 2 is making me experience emotions that the current Ping Tuba setup is not ready for. No, I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> Just gonna play Sonic 2 in complete silence. <laughs> no, no, no. We're, we're on the right. We're on the right path now, I think. Oh. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. This is. <laughs> draw game, yeah. We we got we got a, yet another draw. It's, uh, the Sonic Two session went well. It never ends. Just like the stage never. No, I made that mistake last time. Really. You know what? I'm not even giving him the dignity of, of death. That's too good for him. He shall wander the earth like a lost soul. <laughs> you have been condemned, Shellcracker.
Tails is just gonna be in his happy place for a while. Yeah. Okay, right, didn't we get here earlier? No. I don't remember. <laughs> I think we did. What? Yeah, I, okay, I, I think I see what's happening, yeah. Shellcrackers do have fucked up collision detection, as I am finding out in real time. <laughs> I'm glad that Tails is so small that he doesn't uh, set off these stars. This seems fine. I'm sure this isn't an issue. Don't worry about it. Oh no, don't make me do this. Okay, there we go. We could have had that as the invinci- we could have. Alas, we're, we're, we're missing that opportunity. I don't know what the collision de detection is for this guy. And now I'm gonna die. Oh no. It seems that I've cracked the code. Yeah, this works out for me. Okay, okay. And then you have to stop him before he can do his lasers. Okay, we did it. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. And now it's Sonic's turn to... <laughs> Oh, poor Sonic, he can barely see over the fucking, the, the, the windscreen. <laughs> he's, he's just, he's just a short little guy in there. <laughs> he's like, uh, Tails, I can, I can barely see where I'm going. Just, you're going to have to guide me here. Now, uh, one thing of note here is that, uh... This zone has turtle animal buddies that um, you otherwise don't see anywhere else. Which means that they fall to their death and you never see their walking animation. You can get lots of uh, consecutive enemy bonuses here. Feels good. <laughs> He's trying to find the uh how, how do I how do I how do I send this uh, chair up? I don't get it. <laughs> Fortunately the flames don't hurt you. Clearly, Eggman is bringing the toy into battle. We'll have to destroy its Gravitron core. Wait, wrong game. Never mind. I don't think you can get all of them, because the, that one is too low for you to hit. The, the, the little turtles riding on top of the big turtles is cute, though. I like that. The battleship Balrog. Anyway, we could go down with the ship, but Sonic's fine. He's got that. He's got that under control, probably. Uh, 
and uh, here I believe is the inspiration for uh, Scratch from the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. They're, they're both chickens, that, that's, that's sort of where I'm getting that, that feeling from. I am very scared. <laughs> There is, uh, there's no ground underneath us. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog, you're gonna crash. Ah. Okay, let's try that again. This may be where we have to use our first continue. Luckily, we, we stocked up a few. I'm not sure if you're allowed to re-grab onto the bar is the problem. So you kind of have to jump as far to the right as possible. Just to make sure that you, you, you nail the landing. Taking absolutely no chances here. <laughs> Obviously, you don't want to run into the propeller. That'll hurt you. That would be a bad idea. Whoop. Checkpoint? Checkpoint, please? Where? Where is? Ah, I think there's one up here. Ooh, I'll take that. Oh no, running shoes here seems like a really bad idea. <laughs> oh, this is a jam though. Okay, time to fuck this up. The special stage music is some of my favourite in the game though. That, that's something that it's got going for it. Got the feeling this is this might be the end. Ooh. Yep, okay. <laughs> oh well. Oh, the flames do hurt in Sonic Pocket Adventure, that's right. <laughs> I like Sonic Pocket Adventure, but it's uh It's kind of a shame they weren't able to re-release it. Uh, I would have thought it'd be on that second Neo Geo Pocket set, but clearly not. And uh, what, what I think we've got coming up in a second is one of the few pre-adventure uh, pre references to the name Eggman, or Egg, like in actual in-game text. It's going to be on the side of the, side of the ship. Where, where go? Sure, this seems fine. It's not the direction I wanted to go in, but... Oh no. Oh no, it's these platforms. Ugh. 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 Woof, okay. <laughs> uh, Kak, yes it does, sort of. Um, the, fi the, the seventh special stage has... The final section is just random rings and then bombs. I don't think the bombs are random, but the rings are. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna hang out here for a while. Uh, th th this seems pretty nice. Now we better, we better move on. The design of this wing fortress is all fucked up. It's amazing it's flying at all. Poor thing. <laughs> Also, this does remind me of the, the, the Balrog from Strider because of those uh, those zippy things. Nah. Nah, I want the rings. Oh, there he is. Hi! Players might remember this boss from uh, Flying Battery Zone. In fact, the uh, the mobile version adds sounds from Flying Battery Zone to this fight. Uh. Okay. No. Whoop. Yes, it's kind of tricky to juggle this stuff. Uh. Uh, whoop. Hey, there we go. Oh, he's gone already. That fiend. <laughs> the, the Super Mario Brothers 3. Oh, shit, there was an extra life there. Never mind. Oh, no, he's getting away. Sonic, you're a real trooper for putting up with this. <laughs> you could barely see over the windscreen. Get, we can get him. There he is. Poor kid clinging on for dear life. We're, we're, go, we're going pretty high, aren't we? Although, I've just realised the timer's still counting down. Is it possible to game over? Is, is it possible to time over here? <laughs> if this cutscene takes too long? Well, oh well. Two, three. One, two, three. Four. Yes! Easy. Easy game. And now it's just the final boss. No pressure. Just the fate of the world at hand, you know, so whatever. I like that the Eggman Robo has glasses as well. <laughs> it's a really cute detail. Unfortunately, this boss is mostly waiting. But as a special bonus for the Switch version, every time he puts his foot foot down, the you get the HD rumble, which is a really nice touch. No! I knew, I knew it was a mistake. I'll just have to play the long game instead. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes! That's the easy part. Oh man, can we do this? Can we do this on one life? I forgot about glitching through him. I did that all the time. Oh, <laughs> I'd forgotten about that. Yeah. Fortunately, we have all the time in the world. We can take this nice and slow. Great music though, and I love that you can see the earth whizzing by in the back. 
Sonic really is in space. No! Oh well. <laughs> We've got two continues. Let's do it. Oh, we were so close to the 1cc. Never mind. Still, that gives us an excuse to come back to this in the future, maybe. I... You know, I never figured out the timing for hitting him when he's rising up, because I always get hit by the spikes. Do you hit the underbelly, or do you try and jump over the spikes? I never, I never quite figured that out. Anyway, we got like we got like eight minutes to do this. We are we are not in a rush. Yeah, I figured the timing was a bit precise. Yes. I I kind of play it safe. Oh yeah, this fight super sucks as Knuckles. <laughs> I I have beaten this as Knuckles and this fight is dog shit. <laughs> Poor guy, can't jump high enough. The the jet the Sonic 4 version of this fight might be the worst boss in Sonic history. If not the worst, it is up there. It is awful. <laughs> because once you beat the boss, the floor is destroyed underneath you, and if you uh, if you're not fast enough, um, the game you just fall in, and the game kills you. Yes. Okay. How many hits is that so far? Probably six. I was losing count. No, no. I almost went for it, but I chickened out. <laughs> also, I've just noticed there's a bit of power like scrolling on the earth as well. That's cool. Yes. <laughs> oh, you beat Sonic 4 Episode 1 on an iPad. You... Oh, Kak, you are a trooper. Yes. I, I, it, it suddenly came back to me how many lives I've lost by passing through him by mistake. Sometimes that shit happens. Yes. Okay, sick. Sadly, uh, there isn't a ta uh, tale specific version of the the end pictures, so he just sort of he just escapes.
Thanks, everyone. Ah, oh, we were so close to a 1cc, but you know what? This is this is good enough. <laughs> uh, where's my mask gone? Uh, which one is uh, Soul Die Rocket? Is that the? Uh, is that like the Mission Four boss? <laughs> we have three days left to implement Tails' ending. <laughs> Uh, we gotta do the pose. Oh uh, yeah, that boss sucks. Oh, that's such a cute pose. I like that one. Cast of characters. This is actually the staff role. <laughs> so yeah, now that we've seen Sonic 1 and 2, we have a... We, we have a better under idea of uh, how how Sonic CD came to be. Probably. Who knows? I think my favourite boss in Metal Slug 3, if I have one, is uh, the, the Mission 3 boss. That one's fun. Once, once you learn how to deal with it, it's pretty fun. Mission 4, though, no. Don't like it. Oh, we we got we gotta we gotta keep an eye out for Mark Cerny. Yeah, he'll show up. <laughs> I've I've never actually finished the 8-bit version of Sonic 2. Can you blame me? <laughs> oh, there's Phoenix Rie. Quake where there's Quake Step. Tim Skelly. Oh, Mo Mora uh, Peter Morawiek, uh, he went on to work on Comic Zone, um, like, did like a, the design, I believe. Oh, did we miss Mark Cerny? <laughs> I think we did. I was keeping an eye out for him as well. Yeah, I think we did, never mind. Oh, he did Sonic Spinball as well, did he? Executive supporters. Special thanks to Locky P. That's a good name. Presented by Sega. Oh, does uh? Oh shit! <laughs> we technically got the good ending. I'll take it. Lucky P. <laughs> Just for old time's sake. We gotta do this. Fuck, what was the code again? Uh, oh, was it 7 and 9, 19? No, it wasn't. I fucked it up. <laughs> we, we gotta go back. No, don't submit my ring chain ranking. It was a bad one. No, it's, it's okay. No, oh. nineteen sixty-five. Yeah, I got I got nine and seventeen mixed up. There we go. Oh, oh shit! I forgot about this. You know what? Okay, let's uh, let's do that instead. <laughs> I forgot. That's right. Uh, no, no, that's not what I wanted. That's the one. Yeah, we, we just get a supersonic mode. Sega. Uh, 
I can't tell you how many times as a as a child I put this code in. You'd think it'd be burned into my muscle memory. Never mind. Let, let me see if I can remember the debug mode code. Don't tell don't tell me what it is. Okay, so I know it's Nah, don't worry about it. I was gonna forget it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let us go to uh, let's go to the final zone of the game. Yes, yes, at last. Nope. Oh. <laughs> uh, why am I not super? F think it fucked up and gave Tails- <gasps> We accidentally made Tails super. Because he's invincible and he's fast. And I'm not. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, this rules. I didn't know you could do this. <laughs> Okay, get, no, I, ca I can't switch back. No backsies. <laughs> uh, Tails has said no, no, it's it's my power now. <laughs> oh, what a perfect ending. I didn't either. I'm guessing this is probably like a glitch in uh, this supersonic mode. Ah, oh, that rules though. Tails is so fast, he has to stop himself. And he keeps getting stuck on this. Buddy, you can... No? <laughs> this, this is how it ends. Amazing. Superb. I don't think we're going to get better than that. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I guess that's what it is. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to lock that one. That's that's a lock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Inspiring. An 80 year, an 8 year old became god. Here's what happened next. <laughs> <laughs> we should have never given them godhood. <laughs> it was it was a mistake. Okay, uh, I've been streaming for nearly four hours now. That that's that's a mistake for sure. Uh, okay. Um, thanks for showing up, everyone. Um, I know we didn't get all the chaos emeralds, but we did beat Robotnik twice. That's something, right? And uh, we're gonna have to do it again on Wednesday because we're streaming. Uh, Sonic CD. Not just any Sonic CD. The original Sonic CD. Not the not the not the uh, not the fixed version from 2011. The original Sonic CD on Mega CD. Which soundtrack are we going to use? Um we're we're putting it to a vote. <laughs> vote now. Uh, no, no. Uh we I'm <laughs> it's it's my stream so we're picking the soundtrack I want. <laughs> Uh, this was fun. Uh, I'm glad everyone ha enjoyed it, and a couple of you learned a few things about Sonic games. Maybe, probably. <laughs> but but I very much enjoyed this. I I would like to go back and get the Chaos Emeralds another time. Maybe we'll do that in Sonic Origins, where it's less frustrating, in theory. So um, on that note, uh, I'm gonna go now and sleep for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you take care, everyone, and I will see you next stream. Bye-bye.